Good morning from my paddleboard and welcome back to another video where I'm fishing for whatever bites. Today I've got a couple ultralights with me as well as a bass stick and I'm actually on a lake that I've never open water fished before. I've been here once during the ice season and it was pretty poor fishing so I have no idea what to expect. That being said, I'm feeling really optimistic. We've got limited wind so it'll be a nice day for the paddleboard and then the water is really clear, lots of vegetation so I trust there's lots of fish to be caught. That being said, the more I ramble, the less time I have to fish, so you know the drill. Let's start fishing. Well, I typically only bring one rod on the paddleboard, but today I'm feeling pretty confident in myself, so I've actually got three. I'm going to go ahead and start with a 1 16th ounce workhorse jig with a black donkey tail junior, and we're just going to kind of cover water with this. Second cast, and I've got a fish already. I bet this, yeah, it's a dinky bass, but it's a start. We're just going to try to see what lives here. And if we find out it's a bunch of dinky bass, then so be it. Well, he jumped and shook that thing. All good. I don't really care much about a four-inch bass. Gotcha. He was nibbling on it. Oh, my gosh. This might end up being a dinky... Oh, it's a yellow perch. I thought this was a little bass at first. Well, so far, it's showing promise for quantity, but not necessarily quality. See ya, buddy. What's this going to be? That was a weird bite. Just kind of sucked it up. Is that a largemouth? Well, it ain't much, but we've got two species for the day. A little largemouth bass. That was a weird bite. All of a sudden, he just kind of had it. And that, my friends, is tiny. See ya, buddy. get him out of that grass. I saw a bunch of nice sunfish up here and a bunch of them were kind of missing it, but this one got it. I think that's a big pumpkin seed maybe. Yeah, it's a nice pumpkin seed. Try to be quiet to an extent. It's real clear and shallow. It's a beautiful pumpkin seed right there. I flipped it up there because I saw a couple big sunfish and I had a couple short strike, but this one got it. There should be more up there, hopefully catchable fish. See ya, buddy. Man, I'm getting lots of little short strikes. Come on, buddy. There he is. Got him, finally. Seriously, it's a little largemouth. I missed the sunfish. I had a bunch of short striking sunfish up here, but at the bare minimum, I know I learned something right now. This little shallow opening right here definitely had sunfish in it. So you got vegetation everywhere. This is just like a little hole and it's shallow and uh, definitely saw some nice pumpkin seed in there. And unfortunately, I think I spooked several of them off and then I got short strikes from some of the smaller fish, but we caught one of them. So I definitely learned something. Oh, tiny gills, man. There, I got one. Oh, is that a better fish? He's down in the pads now, of course. No, he's not exactly better, but it is a pumpkin seed. So he actually took it down. Well, it's a beautiful fish. It may not be the size I want, but I do love me some pumpkin seed. See you, buddy. So far, I'm seeing a lot of fish, but most of them are tiny bluegill. That being said, I'm seeing some decent pumpkin seed in the mix as well, but I'm noticing a lot of the sunfish are just kind of short striking, so I went ahead and put on a 1 64th ounce pink mule jig with a true chartreuse mule minnow 1.2. The reason I want this tiny little rig right here is because the fish will take it down a little bit better, and also it's really slow rate of fall. So I'm fishing really, really shallow water, so I want something really slow rate of fall so I can really convert those bites. If something sinks past them too fast, they just don't eat it quite as well. When it's above them and sinks down to them, they eat it really well. So let's get back to it. I trust I'm gonna start catching a lot more fish, probably a lot of small ones in the mix, but hopefully some big ones too. There's one, there's a large mouth. I saw this fish and I led him with my jig. There's a, actually a bass behind him, if you can see that. There's a bass following him. I led him with my jig and he came up and slurped it. There you go. It ain't much, but it's another fish on the board. And at this point, 
I'll take anything I can get. It's always fun to sight fish them too. It's kind of cool in the paddleboard, cruising around in the shallow water, see a fish, cast it in front of them, catch it. It's pretty cool. Got him. <laughs> Dang pumpkin seed, man. These pumpkin seed are wild. They come up, they charge it like 100 miles an hour. They don't eat it. They'll just charge it, nose up on it. And so it's really tricky to know when they have it. And that's why you gotta use these brighter baits. You use these bright jig heads. And once you don't see the jig head, that's when you set the hook. I've talked about that a lot in the past, but I'll talk about it again. I'm telling you, if you can get away with a bright jig head and the fish are willing to eat it, it gives you a huge advantage in this clear water because it allows you to really know exactly when they have it all the way down. And a lot of times when you're fishing sunfish, you're pretty close quarters. And uh, just like that last fish, it's like, if you have that brighter jig head, it's just all such a visual game. And that's super helpful, I'm telling you. Sometimes I feel like when the water's a little bit cooler, I find that the fish want a little bit more natural colors and so they don't necessarily want those brighter jig heads. But in the warm water, I don't find that that's an issue usually. Today, these fish are definitely a little finicky. A lot of them are short striking, but now that I have a smaller profile on, it seems like they're willing to eat it. Is that a bluegill? Here's my first actual bluegill of the day. I've had so many bites from bluegill, but so many of the fish have been tiny. This one was big enough to eat it. There you go. He's not exactly giant by any means. It's like maybe five inches long, but it's a bluegill and I'll take it. See you buddy. And because it's morning, I'm able to kind of fish here and it's not a huge deal. There's one. That's a decent gill right there, I think. It might be a pumpkin seed, actually. What are you? You a pumpkin seed? Yes, you are. Best fish of the day. There you go. Not a giant giant, but it's definitely my most quality fish of the day. Whoa, splashing me in the face. I'm telling you, I, I normally wouldn't be able to fish here just because as the sun gets higher, people are probably going to want to come down to this beach. But right now I can fish the perimeter of it because nobody's here. And there you go. It's a pretty little pumpkin seed right there. Nothing giant by any means, but I think he is probably our best fish of the day. Kind of sad, but this is why you check out new waters. You never really know what you're going to find until you get there and try. And today I'm finding that there's definitely a large population of fish. A lot of them are kind of finicky. Um, a lot of them are very small though. There he's got it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, that's why I'm leaving this color on there. That pink went bye-bye. So I set the hook. And nothing giant, but another respectable pumpkin seed. I really, really love pumpkin seed. It's been a while since I've really kind of intentionally caught pumpkin seed. You know, I've been doing a lot of smallmouth stuff this summer, so I haven't necessarily focused on these fish as much. And I'm telling you, I really, really like pumpkin seed. So it's always a good time to get out and chase them. Even when they're this small, it's just a fun bite. And they're really, really pretty. Look at that fish. All right, see you, buddy. Oh yeah, I saw that fish coming in after it. I saw he had a little bit more shoulders, so I knew it was probably a pumpkin seed. And there you go. Part of me thinks that this lake wasn't very good today because it's the heat of summer, but then most of me thinks that this lake is just not that good in general. So I actually loaded back up. I got the paddleboard on the roof and we're gonna go find somewhere else to fish. I don't even know where yet, but I'm gonna go somewhere relatively close. I'm probably only going to fish a little bit longer, but I want to finish my day with a couple more fish because this was just not that good. Let's get back to it. Got him. All right. Well, it ain't much, but it's a start. Didn't take very long to get on the board at this next lake. Now this is a lake that I've been to before. I'm not gonna tell you it's my favorite lake in the world, but it was conveniently located, so I figured it's worth a shot. Hey, look at there. I landed this on a fish's head. I think this is a bass right here. I don't wanna run into this guy's dock. There you go, little bass. Good little ultralight fish. All right, things are already faster paced than the last lake. There you go, absolute unit. See ya, bud. This wind is just gonna push me right up into stuff, that's for sure. There's one, down in that shadow from the dock. Too easy, baby, too easy. 
It's a good little largemouth for the ultralight. Man, the wind is blowing me around, so it's kind of challenging, but I dig it. I dig it. There you go. A little paddleboard fishing with an ultralight. Simple fishing, my friends, but the wind is blowing me around. The fish are pulling me around. Good times. Another one. There we go. Keep tension. Keep tension. What is this? Just a little chunky bass. Man, that's a pretty small fish. He put up a good fight for being so small. Good stuff, though. At this point, I just want fish, man. I just want to catch quantity. There, I got him. He ain't much, but it's another largemouth. I tell you what's going on. I've been seeing a bunch of bass hunkered down in this area, and I'll tell you exactly why. See you, buddy. So there's a bunch of wind coming this way, and it's actually calmed down right now, but there's vegetation everywhere, and then there's these little gaps where it's just sand, and it's actually pretty deep. We've got, I don't know, probably four to six or seven foot of water, depending on where you're at, and I'm finding that there's bass holding in these little sandy areas everywhere. I've seen several of them. I've had a few try to eat it. And then, like I said, I've mostly just been getting pushed around by the wind. So it's been kind of challenging to fish these properly. That being said, I know I'm around fish, so that's good. Oh, I don't know if I've got this fish pinned. Oh, wow. That wasn't a largemouth. It's a nice pumpkin seed. Golly, man, I was wondering why he fought so crazy. Pumpkin seed are beautiful and they are also feisty. See a feisty boy. I've seen some bait fish getting pushed around up here. Some, I have a feeling that these bass are actually feeding on bait fish relatively aggressively. And like I said, if I had the proper setup out here, whether that's a kayak or a boat, I feel like you could come out here and just like twitch flukes around or something like that and just catch a ton of fish. And there are bigger fish down there than this. I promise there are. Of course, I'm the one that's catching the dinks. I'm leaving the big ones for everybody else. There you go. Thought I lost that fish for a second because I hooked him and he swam right at me. Man, I'm catching all the dinks, man. There's a fish, that's a good one. Oh man, right behind that boat, he's gonna jump. Watch this. Oh, he wants to. Come on, buddy. Here he comes, there he goes. Oh, there's another one right behind him. It's a nice large mouth. Nice one, nice one. Oh, he choked that thing too. Good deal. Look at that, he choked that thing. gum. I'm actually fishing quite a bit deeper out in front of these docks and this chunky little largemouth decided to come play. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Honestly, this is a better place to fish because I don't have to deal with the wind. That fish was up there in no water. Well, one thing's for certain, this lake definitely has a larger population of catchable fish on it. I wouldn't necessarily consider the bass population healthy. I feel like it's probably overpopulated. There's a ton of small bass swimming around. And if you need to catch small bass, just give me a call because I can do that. Big bass, I can't make any promises, but small bass, I'm good at that. Anyways, I'm having fun out here. I am getting tired. I'm gonna bounce over to the other side of the lake. I'm gonna fish some more docks. You know, being out on the paddleboard all day has been fun, but it's catching up to me, man. I'm getting a little fatigued. All in all though, at the bare minimum, I hope that you take away the fact that half the fun in fishing is the adventure, getting out there and trying areas for yourself. I feel like I see a lot of times people asking online, like Facebook or other forums or whatever, like, hey, how is this body of water? I feel like, 
you should just go out there and find out for yourself. That's half the fun for me. And today it didn't necessarily pay off, but sometimes it does. If you get out there and try new areas, you're gonna find some spots that end up being one of your favorite places to fish. If you just go on the internet and try to find them from someone else, you're probably not gonna find the spots that you like best. That's the way I see it. Anyways, let's get back to fishing. Hopefully we can uh, catch something a little bit bigger by the end of the day, but no matter what, it's been a good time. It's good exercise. I really do like paddle boarding. It's very peaceful and very relaxing. I saw that fish come out and eat it. I saw a shadow. Shadow come out and literally slurp it. I thought it was a smallmouth for a second. It was so dark. Dag gum. There you go. <laughs> I dropped it in there and this one shot out and ate it. It's too easy. These little guys are just too easy, I'm telling you. All right. Uh, let's try not to run into someone's pontoon today. I will say this, I feel like the bass liked the all black Donkey Tail Junior today. Cast a nice little silhouette. Speak of the devil, there's one right there. I saw him shoot out of the grass and smack it. I think that little silhouette's nice though. Seems like they just clobber it. It's been a while since I threw all black, but this is just such a simple color, but it straight up works. That ah, fish is pulling pretty hard. I think this actually might be a sunfish. Yeah, it's a sunfish. It's gonna be a nice, nice pumpkin. Wait a second, is that a warm mouth? That's a warm mouth. Heck yeah, another species. See how big those, see how big his mouth is? That's a warm mouth right there. That's awesome, I'm happy I caught that fish. See you, buddy.